Okay, then let's start. Um, I made a wiki page these days for this buff. And let's look what questions there are. Okay, um, first thing, uh, we had an ad hoc uh, buff last year at um, DevConf Montreal. It was just by accident because I wear a hoodie uh, which said XMPP and then people uh, approached me, are you involved into something with XMPP? And I said, well, not so much. Uh, but, uh, okay, there was some interest in WOF and uh, quite a lot of people came and um, there were some, um, some ideas what, what can be uh, made better in, in uh, XMPP related packages in Debian and also we talked about the infrastructure of Debian itself, the, our own XMPP server. Uh, okay, I, I try to summarize a little bit about what I know what happened since last year and I probably do not know everything so just uh, tell me what I do not know. Um, what happened? Uh, there were major releases of, uh, for example, the XMPP server Prosody from 09 to 010 and this is already in Debian and already also in stable backports. So whoever likes to run Prosody, um, you can have uh, the latest and greatest version on both Buster and Stretch. Um, EJBD has also been updated, major release to, to uh, 18.04 or what it was. Um, so also a major release and um, also there was a major release of, of the client Gadgen, uh, which is quite important uh, release because it does now use Python 3 instead of Python 2, GTK 3 instead of GTK 2 and all this stuff. Um, so very important for the future when GTK 2 and Python 2 uh, will get removed at some time. Also, um, uh, packages like Macabre and Profanity have been upgraded. Um, I think both of them didn't make it into the stretch release because of bugs. And um, also, there is a completely new client called Dino. In Debian, it's Dino IM because there was a different program, Dino, before, long ago, but it's still. Debian is an um, eternal database. Uh, if a package exists at one point in time, um, it is very difficult to ever have a different package with the same name. It happened, but uh, then you need a long time until it's gone from all the old, 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 old archives and so on. Okay, uh, what also happened is there is now an XMPP team, thanks to Salsa, there is um, the XMPP team on Salsa and uh, most, no, most not, but many XMPP related packages are now in the XMPP team. Prosody, Gadrim, Dino, C++, um, Profanity, Macabre, and a lot of other stuff. Um, so uh, whoever does some packaging work inside of Debian related to XMPP, uh, think about uh, moving your package to the team so more people can help fixing bugs and you can help the others. Um, okay, that's what I know. Uh, anybody else who knows anything about any progress of any or not progress of any packages since last year or whatever? Okay. Um, at that point, I'd like to know who of you uh, uses XMPP as, um, as a end user, so for, for chatting, for example. So, most. 
Uh, which clients uh, are your preferred clients, uh, both on Debian and also not on Debian, let's say on a mobile phone or wherever you use it? Uh, maybe we can... Pitchin and Saba. Okay. Uh, you didn't use XMPP, right? Uh, you, you? Which client are you using? No, for the XMPP? Ah, no, okay, no, not, okay. Conversations, Dino and uh, Gadget. Okay, mm hmm. Who else? I, I use conversations on Android and get them on uh, PC. Mm hmm. And friends use uh, JetSecure mm -hmm. on, on iOS. On iOS, and mm -hmm. yeah, this sometimes has problems. With yes, it. yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, okay, I, I re uh, okay, let's, let's uh, end and then I repeat what... Pidgin. Hmm? Pidgin. Um, on com uh, laptops, I use uh, Pidgin or uh, Profanity. Mm -hmm. uh, on cell phones, I, uh, Conversations. Okay. So, um, I, I try to, to summarize. Uh, most use uh, uh, Pidgin, Gadrim, One Dino. Uh, and on, on phones, uh, Xabar, um, and conversations, and on iPhone, uh, ChatCQ. Um, okay. Then next question would be, um, is there anything in the context of Debian which should be done regarding the client side? So it's... Um, is there anything missing or, or um, any ideas uh, we can improve, not from upstream, but from Debian? I know that all XMPP clients are horrible, but uh, this is a thing of the upstream developers. <laughs> um, so. I would say Dino is a big step. Dino? For usability. For usability, yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, uh, Dino has very, very few uh, contributors, and I see one commit per week or less. <laughs> so it, it does not improve so fast as it should. Um, but I, I hope it gets better because, yeah, it's really nice looking. Um, but feature-wise, uh, it, it's far behind all the others. But um, on tech, no tech, uh, friends and family. Have yeah. You, yeah. Yes, absolutely. For non-technical people, it's, it's really nice. It looks uh, like conversations, yeah. <laughs> only on, on, the, on the PC. Yeah. Uh, Server-wise, uh, who uh, of you uh, does run an XMPP server? And, and uh, are you using uh, Debian packages or uh, Prosody or eJavadi? eJavadi. E Good. <laughs> Good choice. Uh, Prosody, and I didn't realize there was a backport of uh, upstream. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you can run uh, zero dot ten. Yeah. So as of today, I actually switched to backports. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a huge uh, progress from 0 0.9 to 0 0.10. So you, you should uh, use backports. And you? I'm also running Prosody, also the backport. Really yeah, the backport, yeah. Uh, I'm also running Prosody backport, uh, the, the backports uh, in my company. So it's a more or less internal server for the company. Um, and Debian also runs Prosody with backports. Ah, yeah, this huge progress since last year. Uh, Vogler.debian.org is our server for RTC and XMPP, voice over IP, uh, has been upgraded to Stretch and uh, uses now Prosody backports and Prosody modules backports. Uh, so it, still many people say eJavaD is still better. <laughs> so uh, probably it is. Um, I, and in fact, I think about changing from Prosody to eJavaD at my company. Um, okay. Uh, 
Is there anything about the server stuff? Well, it's only three people who could comment uh, where we should do something better as Debian. I think if we manage to have always the latest or best version packaged in the same way as for the clients, then yeah. that's all we can do. Mm. I think currently this is a case. So, uh, what what I see from Prosody, EJBD, and also from at least some of the clients, it, it looks it looks like the best a distribution could do, uh, even backports to the stable version. Still, I I get always questions about Gatlim for for Jesse and. Uh, people want the latest Gatlim on, on uh, older Ubuntu versions or, or older Mint versions and there's not so much I can do as a Debian maintainer. Um, I almost do not have any contact to Ubuntu and less so to Mint. It's, I, I do not even know how to, how to work with uh, the people. It's more thing how Debian works with uh, downstreams and so on. And, Nothing related to XMPP. Okay. Uh, now Debian infrastructure. Who of you uses the Debian XMPP server, which is anyway limited to, X, uh, to uh, Debian developers? Debian maintainers? No, probably not. No, I think Debian I maintainers do not have a DO address, right? No. So they can't use it. Okay. So. Uh, who uh, is a Debian developer and uses uh, the XMPP service uh, at least once in a while? You have your own? I'm, I'm using it. Um, last year, uh, there was many complaints about spam. It was, and it, it was really, really horrible. And everybody, everybody in the room who used the service of, of Debian said, I get 10, 20 messages every day in uh, Russian or sometimes combined Russian-English that was really horrible. It dropped significantly. We changed to Stretch, in fact, to use a firewall, but we never managed to install the firewall. It still dropped. So we are, uh, I ask around why it dropped. And um, some theories about it, but nobody knows exactly why it dropped. Might be that the spammers found out that XMPP is a dead technology and it isn't worth to send spam to XMPP users. Um, I don't know. Uh, also, there was this um, XMPP spam fighting manifest. Did you hear about it? If you search for it on the internet, it's by one of the XMPP gurus, the one who does the Android Yaxim client, uh, Georg, Georg something. <laughs> and um, he wrote a manifest uh, how administrators of XMPP servers should prevent spammers. For example, uh, limiting the number of accounts you can create per second <laughs> and uh, other things. Um, maybe some admins really implemented ideas of him, I don't know. Anybody knows about this issue and why it dropped or maybe it does not drop in general? I never got spam, Oh, although, so I don't know if Lucky you. Where, where this comes from or yeah. yeah, we got so much spam on all Debian org addresses last yeah. year, and there were a lot of people who said, "I never want again use my XMPP." I I used the, the Debian org address for some time. Yeah. Then I switched it off. I switched it now on, but yeah. still no spam. No spam. I I think the spam comes mostly uh, when when your trouble user ID is an email address. Yeah. that is published somewhere. So they just looking for email addresses. My private uh, Java ID is also my email address. So it's circulating around anyway. And they specifically, I think, try to spam 
anything that looks like an email address or looks like a Java ID which has the same syntax. So that's mostly likely why the at Debian org Java IDs also got so much spam. Yeah. Yeah, but that would be the same for me with the Debian address, email address yeah. equals Java address. Yeah. So this is rather strange that some yeah. developers got all that stuff and I was for some reason <laughs> excluded. <laughs> yeah, now it dropped totally. I get um, maybe one, two invitation spams per week, which is okay. I just ignore them. Um, so not direct messages anymore, but contact uh, requests that are spam anyway because uh, I see that the sender is nobody I would know and, and also uh, the, the message is neutral. So it's not, oh, we met at DebConf, uh, let's have a contact. No, it's always, yeah, the user wishes to contact you. Okay, go away. <laughs> or normally I like if people uh, requesting contact if they write one or two personal words so that I know, oh, okay, this might be someone I, I would like to have contact to. Let's talk about bug number something, okay. <laughs> um, or you are a lazy maintainer. <laughs> then I know, okay, the person really knows me. <laughs> okay. Um, that's mainly what, what I uh, noted in the wiki. So there's not so many things to talk this year, um, much less than last year. Good. Um, well, any, anybody likes to address anything related to XMPP and or Debian? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm not using XMPP at all at the moment. I do know IRC. I'm using IRC sometime. And um, maybe you could quickly explain the difference between IRC and XMPP. Yeah. Anybody knows that? <laughs> I think the, the most interesting, I'm, I'm not an expert, but for me it looks like that uh, they managed now to uh, to use this OMEMO, which works like uh, like the signal. Okay. It's, it's, it's more it's or less an impl yeah. implementation of this protocol. And this um, uh, improves on a lot of drawbacks, which I also saw for the of the record mm -hmm. uh, messaging. And yeah, you can do offline. Exactly, exactly. The, the device must not be available when you send a message. So you don't need a bouncer? No. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And so this, ah, but I think con conversations is pretty good in that, so I had no problem so far. Okay. There are, especially for conversations and the other, a lot of in other implications, uh, other um, Clients don't have this implemented yet. Gatchim is, is the other one for the desktop, which is and most Dino. advanced. Dino. Uh, yes, but Dino, is it, is it already available yeah, and well, working? It's just, I it's, use it right now. Yeah. Ah, okay. It, yeah, also yeah. before Memo? Yeah, it's uh, with, um, working. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm the maintainer of both, and uh, I'm a maintainer of both Gatchem and Dino, and I always test Umimo uh, if I uh, by using the two clients uh, okay. uh, with my own accounts. <laughs> I never tested it yeah. myself, but I, I, from time to time I follow the conversation, uh, like group chat, mm -hmm. where they discuss about clients yeah. and stuff, and this is uh, sometimes interesting. Mm -hmm. And they were uh, kind of suspicious about. The, 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 the status of Dino. Mm -hmm. But I think this is really a, which makes it kind of, there is missing a, a, a client for um, iOS, mm -hmm. which really- Which is better than chat secure. <laughs> yeah, which works flawlessly or, or chat secure must be improved. But if you, I use it with my, my family, with my, my brothers and their families and my, my parents. And of course, this is mostly on the same server but it really works pretty well. So it's really, mm. I would almost say, competitive, competitive to uh, 
uh, yeah, the what is what is the name? Uh, WhatsApp. WhatsApp, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I I, I use uh, um, uh, XMPP also with my girlfriend. I forced her to; <laughs> she would not use it otherwise. Uh, but um, yeah, she she uses conversations on Android, and she sends me. Uh, Photos of our cats, and <laughs> when I'm not here, and it's okay. Yeah, it works like WhatsApp. Yeah. And do you think it's something uh, people could use to replace Slack? Um, there, there is not a dedicated client with the right user interface like Slack. The technology uh, would allow it, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a big problem with XMPP. All clients are problematic. <laughs> but uh, if someone would write a, a Slack-like client, it, it would yeah, it would be possible based on that technology. I have to say, both ISC and XMPP are very old. Yeah. Uh, I think ISC is now 26 years old or more. I, I just had a look, and uh, I think XMPP is 19. 19. Yeah, it's now 19, 20 years old, and ISC is even six, seven years older, so both are very old. What you get with XMPP is an ID. Uh, you log in into the server with your ID and your password, and that's you. And uh, with, with ISC, there are nicknames. Then there's NickSurf as a workaround, but yeah, ISC... Um, is, is uh, different in, in this respect. Um, so, uh, for example, that in theory, spam fighting is easy with XMPP because uh, you have a, a verified ID. Uh, it's not like email, for example. I cannot send you an XMPP message with a faked uh, uh, sender. Mm -hmm. It's, it's um, only if I'm the admin of the server, but um, then it would be possible, but uh, not. Uh, and if it's uh, Omimo encrypted, then less so. Um, so it's it's uh, it's even better than email in this respect. While IRC is worse than email in this respect, I would say. So. It was, if, if it's federated, it's possible for a server to decide not to accept messages for, from a specific server anymore, and this server is sending to yes. the spam. Yes. Yes. Yes, uh, this is what uh, the Prosody spam filter okay. module can do. You can, uh, you can block complete servers, you can uh, block IDs, which does not make sense for spammers because they change IDs all of the time. Um, uh, but, for example, what is really nice in XMPP, you have the roster, so a contact list, and a, f a spam filter can easily say, okay, everything that is by a contact is whitelisted, which makes it possible to be a little, a little bit more aggressive with the rest of the spam filtering. Mm -hmm. With email, that's, it's not possible because you never know whether the sender is real. Yeah. Uh, and even if you say, yeah, this sender is whitelisted, uh, it doesn't make sense. It, with XMPP, it's possible. You can whitelist me and then, um, yeah. But I'm not an expert on XMPP neither. I'm a packager mostly and... Uh, <laughs> okay. Isn't it possible to fake the sender in XMPP too? Only if you are the admin of the server. Because uh, the, the server address is verified by, by the receiving server. So if, if you... I don't know what your server name is. Um, something dot at and uh, my server receives this uh, then it looks as is from the server something dot at and then yeah then it can be fake because you are the admin of your server but only the JITs of yeah uh, of, of your server so uh, as far as I know <laughs> I'm not an expert on that but that's what I heard uh, so it's a little bit better verified than email and much better than IRC. Do you know how the verification process works? Like is it a photography or is it uh, just... Ah, DNS. Uh, pro probably uh, a reverse yeah. DNS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't believe uh, that there's a cryptography. Because <laughs> then it would make uh, things more complicated yeah. because then you have to implement a trust mechanism before. Yeah. And that does not exist to my knowledge. Yeah, right. And 
I think it works that you usually you allow your XMPP server only to federate with um, with other servers which have a certificate, okay. a SSL certificate, okay. well, that's, and that's uh, also there. And and this is common in yeah. the XMPP world, but it's not common in the in the email world because you always have to be be able to if someone uh, if an if an email server doesn't yeah. have a certificate, you have to. You need to accept mail from the server. So, they, from the beginning, they more or less decided that we, that they all want to have, or, or demand this SSL uh, connection and the certificate. And so there is, it's more effort to, yeah, yeah to okay. get into that system. Yeah, and then, uh, in, in fact, uh, when Google still had significant XMPP usage, I had to still. Uh, whitelist the Google server because they did not use SSL yeah. um, but uh, because I do not know anybody who still uses XMPP with Google and I'm not even sure whether it works anymore they turned, I, it, off. Huh? They turned it off I, I removed long ago the whitelist entry for Google anyway so I allow only SSL uh, server connections and in fact only SSL client connections as well uh, who wants to use my server without SSL has just bad luck I do not care for them. Um, I probably everybody has configured their server that way, right? It's, uh, it's very common in XMPP now that SSL is a must. Anybody else want to comment? Any? Yeah. Uh, so uh, XMPP can't be a Slack alternative, but uh, the XMPP technology in itself has been used to develop a lot of messaging plans. Uh, the most famous ones are is WhatsApp. Mm. Uh, you could still find the, f the messages or emails of uh, the founders of WhatsApp on the XMPP mailing list. Uh, the, if you could search for a few years back, you would still find there. Uh, also, uh, conversations and uh, there's this Contalk is also another XMPP messaging plan. Uh, so. Contact you won't with Contact you will feel like it's just like Signal or WhatsApp, but uh, one day uh, we a friend of mine and I actually did uh, conversations to Contact chat, and it, it and it worked. Contact uses phone numbers. Yes. Uh, conversations is usually the XMPP configuration that we do, but we still managed to get send messages between both of them. We just needed to figure out if I'm giving the phone number, what is the username and password it is creating on the server. So uh, things that could be developed. Yeah. Uh, one thing uh, that is funny, um, I was at Dep mini DebConf in Hamburg, and there was a sprint uh, by a number of people. They like to bring Movim uh, to uh, Debian. Uh, it's written in PHP, so I could really not help at all because I do not know any PHP. And uh, yeah, but uh, Movim is a XMPP client that uh, runs on the web, but as a server, so you need to trust it. You know, for example, grid and password. So at best you run it your own. Um, uh, but it's a web interface, and it's more like a social network. So it is a little bit like uh, whatever, Facebook or, or whatever social network. So uh, it, has, uh, group, uh, it has groups and you can follow other people and you can also chat and group chat, but it's all based on, P, uh, on XMPP and uh, you can combine it with all other XMPP clients and so on. Um, and they even uh, have funny features from the social network world. For example, if you ever heard the, from younger people, maybe the word stickers. Uh, and stickers are like uh, little images you can send around. And uh, in Movim, you have even stickers. Uh, so you, you click there, and then you have a number of, of uh, cats and uh, penguins and so on, and uh, princesses and everything. And uh, then you send it, and it's also uh, it, this sticker implementation is based on the XMPP standard. Uh, so it, it mainly uh, sends the hash of the sticker image to the client. The client looks whether it already knows this 
hash, and then it just show, shows the right sticker. And if it does not yet know uh, the hash, then it requests uh, the sticker from the other side. And um, so it's uh, like a, uh, so it's quite different from sending photos because in photos they are probably unique, so it doesn't make sense to to have a hash uh, mechanism, but stickers are sent again and again, so it makes a lot of sense to, to cave them, so they have this other mechanism in XMPP. Uh, but so far, only very few um, XMPP clients do support stickers. In fact, I do not know any other than Movim. So let's hope that uh, Movim also gets into Debian. Um, unfortunately, I do not know the state of affairs. Um, yeah. So uh, what was nice, uh, at the mini DebConf in Hamburg, there was even the upstream developer of Movim. It's mainly one person or one and a half, but the complete one person, uh, uh, he was at mini DebConf, which was very nice. Yeah, I, I believe he is not even a Debian user, but he came uh, specifically for the sprint to the DebConf, which I found very uh, nice. There's another social network based on XMPP. It's called Salut à toi. Um, and it's already in Debian, but there are, is now a new version upcoming, and I hope we get it also into Debian. But there are some dependencies we have to check and so on. So uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, again, uh, like uh, all uh, good software, it's made by a single person who does it in his spare time after work. <laughs> so both Movim and Salutatoire. Ah, the, uh, the cool thing, Movim and Salutatoire are two social networks, both based on XMPP, and they are in a lot of things that are completely compatible. So a user of Salutatoire can send messages and uh, do a lot of stuff uh, with Movim users. So this is really nice. Let's hope both will be in Debian by Basta. Okay, that's from my side. Uh, Just noticed notice something uh, on the XMPP page, in the wiki, um, the, the Dino IM um, package is linking to um, the Dino package in the tracker. Ah, then I forgot the IM. <laughs> Uh, you uh, okay. have your account on the wiki, then yeah, you can just fix it. it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Dino was a, a music program or something, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> MIDI, uh, MIDI tracker. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just fix it. It's a wiki. <laughs> okay. Anything else? So then, let's see what. We have uh, what updates on this issue, uh, things we have uh, next year in Curitiba. Do we have a Debian XMPP room? No, uh, 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 this is a good question. Um, uh, ah, that's uh, something yeah, good uh, that you remind me. Um, on, the, on the Debian uh, XMPP server, so far, uh, there is one room, but only for the admins. So there are typically only Victor and Victor and Victor, and maybe sometimes me, and maybe Daniel Pocock. And, um, but we could create more rooms, and we can also think about allowing uh, at least Debian developers to create rooms. And then other people who are not Debian developers can join the rooms, of course. Uh, that would be a, a nice addition. We just have to enable it in the, co uh, in the configuration. And yeah, uh, at least Debian developers uh, should be able to create rooms. On the other hand, um, Debian uses mainly IRC. And uh, if we start to use XMPP for rooms, it would exclude the users of IRC, which I would find not so nice. On the other hand, if you use IRC, it's easy for XMPP users to, to, join, I, uh, to join IRC channels because there are, um, there are um, gateways. I use Bibumi, for example. So uh, 
we, we can activate this feature with your rooms, but it would be nice if it if you do not forget, please, about the ISC users. Uh, we have uh, pages where we list all the uh, Debian IRC channels. Yeah. Uh, we could similarly have a page for uh, listing all the Debian XMPP rooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, regarding uh, missing out on conversations uh, between the two ISC or XMPP, we could create bridges. Yeah, OK. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, like, uh, not for Debian, but for a lot of other communities that I'm in, uh, we have uh, bridges for IRC, Matrix, and Telegram. Ah, cool. Yeah, and people can choose to join from anywhere, and, and they still get messages. Ah, this is great. So yeah. something could be, something between XMPP and IRC could be easily done. Yeah. There, there is uh, one uh, bridge that, that is in Debian, and uh, which is very nice. It's called Bibumi. Uh, does anybody use a Bibumi or has heard about it? Bibumi is mainly uh, a bridge from an XMPP server to IRC. So for example, I join IRC channels by means of Bibumi. So I, I use my company uh, uh, XMPP server or another one that features Bibumi. The Debian org server does not yet have Bibumi, so I cannot use that address. And then I go in, in IRC channels and it works relatively well. Relatively, sometimes there are glitches, but it's okay. Um, and some people even prefer it over direct IRC. Um, so um, I, I can talk to, to Daniel and Victor, uh, who are also maintaining the, the Debian server that we install and, and activate Bibumi on the Debian org server. And um, uh, you can use your XMPP DO address to, to join um, IRC. Okay. Then I'm hungry. Let's go to lunch. Dinner. Fifty minutes. Dinner. Uh, dinner. 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 Yeah. In Europe, it's lunch time now. Oh yes. So sorry about that because I was I was here to seeking for some inspiration because uh, I was trying to trying to recreate any kinds of wheels in Rust. And maybe if anyone has something else idea of XMPP, I'll, maybe I'll try to return. A, I will try to write an XMPP library in Rust. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, there is already one. Yeah, it's, no. Uh, yeah. By Linkmorph, uh, a French guy. Uh, right. Well, when uh, XMPP, when I say something, it's always a French guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's very French. Uh, XMPP RS, it's called. Do you know this? Yeah, I call it, but I, I know that. But actually, I check his GitHub page, and it's like they only have support one, only one of their stand, one, only one of their standards. Uh -huh. The others are still in the wish list. Okay. So maybe I should contribute the course to uh, just send some pull requests or something else. Yeah. Um, maybe you can talk to him directly. He's always on XMPP, <laughs> and as far as I know, he currently does not have a job. Deliberately, he, he quit the job to have more time for free software, <laughs> as far as I heard, and to, to play more the violin, I think it was. Okay, or oh, maybe I would just... And uh, just contact him, and I think he, he loves uh, any contribution, so he, he's a very nice person, and uh, I, I think any contribution is very welcome, or any cooperation or whatever. Okay. And because uh, yeah, there, there is still no real good Rust software for XMPP, and it's something that is really needed. Sure, maybe I will contact to him. I mean, her or him? Uh, him. Uh, okay. Yeah. Contact to him maybe yeah. next time or, yeah. or maybe later. He he is an Arch Linux user, but he was at last DevConf in Montreal. <laughs> It's better me it's because I didn't I didn't even <laughs> contribute any kind of package for any any Linux distribution. <laughs> yeah. No, he's very nice. So uh, uh, so uh, it's fun to work with him, I believe. Also, he knows a lot about XMPP, so um, this is very nice. Uh, I uh, I sometimes ask him some uh, stuff. <laughs> Dinner time. Yeah. 
Uh, were there any questions in, in the IRC now? Well, since I, if I have any questions, I'll just ask Ronda. <laughs> No, and the ISC, there were no questions, right? Uh, oh, you mean that? No. Oh. Okay, good. Oh, let me check it. Okay. Thanks. Thanks to the media team.